12 years of shared bliss, feeling so close despite being so far, learning everything about each other and not wanting to let go. Yeah, I'm so grateful that it happened because it brought me back to you. Selena, you are so beautiful. Selena, my goddess, it's beautiful. Beautiful, but fragile. I wanted her to be happy. I wanted her to feel the same way she felt in that dream. I wanted to be the one to give her something more than happiness. I really loved her. Waited so long for this. Twelve years of unearthly love. And I couldn't just let it go. We are here. We are strong. We are infinite. When I dreamt about Loth, my heart contained this impossible feeling of bliss, a feeling beyond love and above everything. Whispers came to me for many years, a pool with serene aquamarine water, the sparkling eyes of Loth. The way he looked at me was full of kindness, hope and peace. It felt like I couldn't love again, like I shouldn't love again. And the whispers they kept occurring, I am Loth, 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 Belfast, Belfast, and the shore pool. I had three clues, a city, a name, and a location. I took a risk. The time felt right. I wanted to find my independence, to fly away to the Emerald Isle and to see what was awaiting for me there. I listened to the music. I walked, I searched, I hoped, and I desired. I felt at peace. And when the wind blew through my hair, it felt like home. I walked and walked and walked, day after day, and the thoughts of Belfast were swirling in my head. It became my mantra, my waking thought, my obsession, and it felt like nothing could infiltrate my mind until there he was, Peter. He was the cheekiest, goofiest boy I've ever met. He was easy to talk to, he was very familiar, and I was in the middle of nowhere, just all on my own, far away from any city. And there he was, just out of the blue, like I was meant to meet him. Hey! Where are you going? Uh, I have to go to Belfast. I should get moving. It is a long way. Well, I could come with you. Uh, I could show you the way. Well, you seem keen. Are you sure we've never met before? Are you? Well, I don't know you. 
We're in the middle of nowhere, but you do seem like a nice guy. Let's do it. What was your name? It's Peter. Nice to meet you, Peter. I'm Rosalina. Rosalina? What a beautiful musical name. It's a pleasure to meet you. The pleasure's all mine. Are you OK? I just wish I could understand life. Well, this is getting deep. Well, you asked, but no, really. Life is so strange if you think about it. There's food, water, the sun is the right distance from the earth. It just feels as if everything has been prepared for us. And it's the same thing with dreams. Dreams are so strange if you think about it. It just feels like our brains and our memories are playing tricks on us. I, I don't know, what, what do you think? Well, life is the one mystery we're all trying to unfold. It's strange, but all we can really do is enjoy the mystery. I often wondered what the visions meant. Visions? Yeah, like having a dream over and over again. You've had that? Yeah. We should get going. I wanted to reunite with her for a long time now, but I didn't know where to find her. God knows, I tried. I went through old papers, tried to find her dad's surname, but no luck. If our parents hadn't have fought, we'd have easily met up again, grown up together like we should have. But at least we had the visions. Twelve years of shared bliss. But at least we had the dreams. Rosalina. I dreamt about that girl so many times. And I promised myself that I'd find her. That girl from my dreams with her long brown hair and her dark brown eyes. I knew it she wouldn't be easy to find, but something brought us together. Fate? Destiny, maybe? Whatever it was, I'm so glad it did. She was so easy to talk to. She had that, that passion, that drive, 
the kind of spirit you'd be hard pushed to find in someone else. But there was something more about her. Her adventurous side, the, the way she saw life, it's what drew me to her. She was the freest girl I'd ever known. Nice feeling that breeze. I always come here to lie down. The sky is bigger than you can imagine. The field stretches further than the eye can see. <laughs> I love Ireland and its nature. Of course, for us British folk, it's way more peaceful. We were similar in so many different ways, two Brits in Ireland. I wanted to tell her how much I loved her. I, I, I didn't expect her to feel so real. I thought the girl in my dreams was some uh, figment of my imagination. But when I recognized her in that field, I knew I had to go with her to Belfast. You thirsty? Thank you. I've always wanted to come here. I've always wanted to see more of the countryside and the closest I could find to nature was Phoenix Park in Dublin. It wasn't quite the same but it still felt good. The wind in my hair, the relaxation from being away from everyone. It was nice, but now that I'm here, I really do feel I really belong up north. There was just something, something just speaks to me here. I just feel so free here, you know? Yeah, I know. I've been here a lot longer than you remember. Stop it. <laughs> Anyways, you didn't answer my question. Oh, what question? Uh, do you miss England? Not really. I didn't like the city much. Not peaceful enough. What is peaceful to you? Not being free. Free from all that bothers you. Problems. What kind of problems? Everything. I faced loss, betrayal, but hey, you've got to let go of those feelings. That's why I like it here so much. There's positivity here. A deep sense of calm. Somehow, fate decided that I'd spend most of my life here. I understand. I wanted to get away as well. I just needed to get away from people. I just wanted to start over. 
And then I started listening to some music. I listened to it and I felt at peace with it. And whenever I listened to it in England, it felt like an escape. I listened to it and there would always be some things that would surprise me. Moments in the songs would surprise me. And whenever I listened to the music, I could see the cliffs of Mohair, a clear picture with purple flowers, and some clear green emerald isle swaying by the breeze. And then the ocean, it, it just looked like it was moving smoothly by the shore. And that's where I really want to go someday. I just imagine there's no sight more beautiful. Well, there are beautiful beaches in England as well, don't they? Not like in Ireland. I know I haven't been there for such a long time, but ever since I looked at photos, I've listened to music since I was 16, there's just there's something that speaks to me here. Something draws me back to this place. Jeez, I sound as poetic as you. Perhaps we've spent too much time together. Well, we have been walking for days. Or maybe you and I are more alike than you think. So that vision is what brought you here? Yeah, is that weird? No, no. I, I appreciate your honesty. I've had dreams and somehow they've happened for real sometimes. You just have to have hope, you know? If I hadn't had that vision frequently, I wouldn't have come here. You're hungry? I've got something in my bag. Uh, no, thank you. But it wasn't just the vision, it was all of it. I just wanted to get away from people, from everything. I just needed to feel alive again. Hey, it's brutal out there. But you are in control. Do you want to feel alive? Let's race. Ready, set, go! I just felt so much at peace with him. I'd never met him before, but I felt safe with him. He made me feel like I was a new person, like I was really alive and strong and I could do anything. Our journey was long, but I didn't mind it so much because I enjoyed every second with him and every moment that would pass, my feelings for Peter would grow stronger. Do you ever miss England? It's been a long time. I like it here, it's peaceful. <laughs> well, from your long, detailed speech, of course you do. Would you have to be in Belfast? No time was given. What do you mean, no time was given? I didn't plan for this to happen. No, no, I, I led you on. I just feel like myself around you. You're special, different. I think you're special too. <laughs> What's so funny? We're here. We've been walking for days and there's still so much I don't know about you. Uh, what does Peter do when he isn't guiding lost souls in Ireland? I'm a sailor. Wow, <laughs> you must be good at it then. The very best. Modest as well, <laughs> I see. I'm also a lifeguard. <laughs> so you're good at multitasking then, that's good to know. And what about you? Well, I'm training to be a swimmer. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and I also want to study gemology. I love precious stones and crystals. What's this one called? Uh, this is Amazonite. Does it have a meaning? It gives positivity, gives harmony, and fights anxiety. Why do you wear it? Well, I have been hurt before, and no one has been as kind as you. So I just wanted to get away from the stress, from people, and from everything. I think I know what you're going through. 
but you have to let go of these people. Whether they accept you or not, there will always be a place in this world for you. Are you a therapist too? I'm serious, Rosalina. We can't expect everything. Will you stay in England or Ireland? My mind is set up in Ireland, but England is the past, Ireland is the future, and I just don't want to go back. I want to stay here, and I just want to be here with you. Well, we'll see each other when you finish in Belfast. Just stay in Ireland. Thank you for all your help. Wait. When you finish what you came here to do, if you want to see me again, meet me at the Cliffs of Mohair. I'd like to see them with you. I'd like that. We are very similar to each other. We are literally the same person. We grow with this peace. We feel this peace. It was the love with the strongest, most peaceful love I've ever felt in my entire life. should get going soon. When will I see you again? I don't want to lose you. I don't want to lose you either. I've learned so much from you. You make me so happy. Then stay here with me. You're safe with me. But what about Loth? What about all those years we've been together? I cannot lose you, Rosalina. I know. And this breaks my heart, but I have to make a choice. Is it normal for a girl to love two boys this deeply? And the worst part is that you're so calm about everything. I can't be mad at you, Rosalina. I love you. This is all too much. Give me a week. This is not something I can rush. <laughs> hey, hey! Oh. It's getting dark. Yeah. Oh. Hey, can I have your number? Sure. If you need me for anything, call me, okay? Aren't you coming with me? Well, this is it. We're on the edge of Belfast. Oh, I can't believe we've made it already. Remember what I said, Rosalina. It's all about letting go. And if you need me for anything, I'll be right here. Thank you for your help. Are you sure you're going to be all right on your own? I'll be fine, Peter. Thank you. Wait. If you want to see me again, Meet me on the cliffs of Mohair. I'd like to see them with you. I'd like that. And it stopped. As fast as it started. I was sure I'd go mad if I didn't see her again. And then, suddenly, there she was. Rosalina, all grown up, standing in front of me in the pool. At first, I wasn't sure if it was my Rosalina, but as she got closer, she seemed more and more familiar. She had that smile, that light in her eyes, but there was something different. She looked tense. I wanted to reassure her. I know, I know her from the past and from the visions. I just wanted her to be safe. My Rosalina, my goddess, was beautiful.
はい。はい。I came. I'm sorry. I can't find the words. It's hard to explain. I can't. It's okay. If it was normal to have the same dream over and over, but they didn't know how to answer, and at first I was scared. But as I grew older, I fell in love. I fell in love with the person in my dreams. And every time I fell asleep, I would just find out more about this person and how much I liked him. And this all happened in Belfast. You came all this way to decode your vision. First of all, I don't think that you're crazy. Second, you seem exhausted. It sounds like you have an important reason for coming here. Let me help you. Thank you. I'm sorry, I've been terribly rude. I'm Rosalina. Rosalina, you've had a long journey. Please. Make yourself at home. But you don't know me. I'm a stranger, and technically I am trespassing. Rosalina, believe me when I tell you this. I do know you. Just trust your instincts. Do you like swimming? Yes. Then come for a swim. The water's warm. Feels like there are a thousand butterflies in my stomach. Let them fly. Fly away, Rosalina. Here you are with me, Belfast. After all those years, I feel safe with you. Well, you have to give me some answers. Why do you feel so familiar? Because you know me. Loth. Yes. So it is you. The way you feel. I feel it too. I came to find out if this feeling was possible, but it felt too good to be true. And vision after vision, I wanted you more. I didn't want it to be a vision. I needed it to be real. You know when you don't want to wake up from a dream because it's too good. And suddenly I'd wake up and just feel like something like this could never come true. Makes sense. If I had only dreamt about you once or twice. I wouldn't have come here. 
I just needed to be sure this was real. You must think this is stupid. I understand. I don't think that it's stupid. I trust how you feel. Relax, let me tell you something. Truth is, I do know you. By the sound of your name, I know. I've known you for a long time. You were six years old. I was eight. You still have your long, brown hair. You still have that beautiful, gentle smile. Your parents and my parents were best friends, but then my dad got a promotion and we moved away. Even so, I was still holding on to you. What do you mean? I had the visions too. What? First, I wondered what they meant. I, I tried to decode everything that's been years, trying to figure it all out. I graduated college and still no sign of you. I thought you would appear in Belfast. The visions felt too surreal. I was going crazy. Trust me, you are not crazy. We both experienced the same thing. In the visions, I fell in love with the way you think, the way you see the world, your thoughts, your energy, your gentleness. I fell in love with you, as a leader. We were best friends as children, and now, I didn't want those visions to be made up. Neither did I. But how did it all happen? I mean, I asked everyone, but no one could explain. Even the doctors couldn't help me. You saw doctors? My parents were frightened of what was happening to me, and they needed answers. But the vision, it kept coming regardless. But I was never frightened. I felt safe with you. You're, you're always safe with me. But were the visions a glimpse of the future? Or did we both just somehow met there? And I just, I just can't help but think that we lived in the present in those dreams. Otherwise, they would have faded away. But I just remembered exactly what we said to each other. We are here. We are strong. We are infinite. I remember. You have something about you, Rosalina. You care so much. You, you have a lot of heart. It's what I've always loved about you. If only people could see what I see. You have this effect on people, Rosalina. Then why did we stop seeing each other when we were little? I know you moved away, but couldn't we have visited? I think our dads had a fight and then we all stop seeing each other. What are you thinking? What if those visions joined us together because we couldn't see each other anymore? Could be. I think this is all too far beyond our knowledge. Still weird. Like, this sort of thing shouldn't happen to anyone. Anyone but us? Yes. I am so grateful that it happened because it brought me back to you. Selena, you are so beautiful. You are my Rosalina. One I've always wanted. Stay with me here. I'll never disappear again. I've known you for 12 years in the most unbelievable way. And I'll always know you. We are infinite. We are infinite. You should be treasured every day, every moment. It was real in our visions, it's real now, and it will never stop being real. Rosalina? Yes. Don't feel that you have to be strong all the time. You can let go. I can see you've been hurt. How do you know? I can feel it. 
I want to take it away. There was so much from so many people. People at school, my parents, the whole of society, really. There were labels on me, on everyone, and I just couldn't stand it. But when I dreamt about you, it just felt like an escape. Did you feel like coming here was an escape? You know the answer, love. But it just feels like it's been such a long time. I just feel like I know you so well. But there's just so much I still don't know about you. What do you like to do? Your hobbies? Your work? I'm a swimmer. I'm training to be a lifeguard. You're joking. That's what I want to do. <laughs> well, there's a centre nearby that offers apprenticeships. It's where I do mind. I can put in a good word for you, if you'd like. That would be great. I want to learn everything. But what if they don't accept me? They will, trust me. It'll all work out. And I have plenty of room, so you can stay here if you'd like. What is it? It just feels so surreal, but everything's falling into place. How is name? You give her of harmony. You know it. I love precious stones. I have a whole book on them. If I didn't want to be a lifeguard, I would have loved to study them. But I just bet they have loads of stones in Ireland, don't they? I know of some silver mines we could go to, if you'd like. You seem lost. Is everything okay? I was just thinking of my friend Peter. He guided me all the way to Belfast when I arrived, and then he brought me all this way, and then he had to walk all the way back. I just feel so guilty. Did you get his number? Yes. Why don't you give him a text? Let him know you're all right. I'll grab you a towel. I'm just worried about him. It started raining when we got to Belfast, and he walked all this way, and then he had to walk all the way back. I just feel I took advantage of him. Miss Lena, you didn't. It sounds like he was a nice lad who wanted to help you. Yes, but it was a lot. We walked a lot of miles. Did you guys know each other before you got here? No. We met a few weeks after I arrived from Ireland, but there was no one else in Ireland who could help me. Uh, I struggled, and he showed me the way. There were maybe people in pubs that could have helped me. I tried maps and everything, but no one was more help than Peter. You came all this way to find me? To find you and start over. That's mad. Impressive, but So glad you came. It was worth it. Your heart, Fortalino, has always been so strong. You are incredible. I want to give you something. What is it? Turn around. I'll look after it, I promise. I'm glad we found each other again. 
teacher. There's something I need to do. Someone I need to meet. Peter? Yeah. He told me I should meet him at the cliffs over her. I should just go and thank him. Just make sure he's alright. Do you need me to come with you? No, it's okay. I know where to find you now. As long as you stay safe. Will you come back? Without a doubt. Do you want me to book you a train? No, he walked for me. I should walk for him. No, he wouldn't want you exhausting yourself. Let me book you a train. Yeah, put your number in. Thank you. I can send you the tickets. Call me if you need anything. You have my necklace now. It's my protection charm. I'll keep you safe. It's just really starting to feel like Ireland is my home now. Even though we've not been here for so long. With Loth, it was different. It just felt, I felt this endless bliss, this impossible bliss, and we would dream about each other ever since we were six years old, but with Peter, it just, it felt different. I felt like I could connect, I felt alive. We were the same person. We loved the same country. He remained calm through everything we went through. He understood where I was coming from. He reassured me. It reassured me. You came? Yeah, I did. Did you find what you were looking for in Belfast? Yeah, I did. Did you decode the vision? I think so. Do you think you'll ever go back there? It's complicated. I can handle complicated, Rosalina. When we kissed, it was one of the most powerful moments in my life. My heart was pounding so fast, and I hadn't felt that way in such a long time. And I just started feeling better within myself. You made me feel so alive. I just felt so good, and it's all thanks to you. <laughs> What is it? I... I've got to tell you something. And you're not going to like it. What is it? But in fact, I, I would rather not say it at all. Because you're the best thing, so... But I've got to tell you. I'm listening. That vision? It does sound like madness. Like it's impossible for anyone to ever have. And it did. I know it wasn't a dream. Because how can someone have the same dream with the same message every single night? What message? Tell me. A part of me feels I must, and a part of me feels I can't. Why? Well, because if I do, I may ruin everything, and you're never ever going to forgive me. And you're the best thing that's ever happened, Peter. How can you trust that my feelings for you are stronger and can overcome anything? You can tell me. But if you don't want to, I respect that. But I have to tell you, because if I don't, I'm the worst person on this planet. You could never be Rosalina. I trust you. I had a vision. 
And in that vision, I was six years old when it started. It was confusing. I told my parents about it, but they didn't think anything of it at first. But the dream, it kept happening regardless. I was crying. My parents were worried. And years went by and the vision would still happen. Doctors, therapists tried to solve it, but they couldn't. It wasn't my choice. It just happened. And I didn't mind it so much at first when I was 14, but for four years, I never wanted that vision to end. Let me guess, love. Yes, love. Loth was a British lad in Belfast. The exchange would always be different. I would always go to his swimming pool. And I never wanted that vision to end. It would always end with three key words. Loth, Belfast, and the shore pool. But it's as if that vision wanted me to follow. I told you it was weird. I don't fully understand. But I believe you. I trust you. Thank you for your understanding. Always. We can figure this out together. Every night, I would be excited to have that vision. I would just go to Lothar's house. I would go to his swimming pool. And then I would kiss him. And I felt scared. Good scared. And then my heart was full of bliss. It was the most surreal love I've ever felt. He started calming me and comforting me. And I never wanted that vision to end, but one day it did. So I decided to go to Belfast. I started walking. I traveled to Ireland to go and find him. But then I met you. Rosalina. I know, but I never expected to fall in love with you. What happened with Loth in Belfast? I kissed him. It happened. It just happened. And you wanted to? Well, at first I felt scared, but then I was, I was thinking of us. He, he reassured me, but it, it was bliss. I, I felt what I felt in that vision. I am so sorry, Peter. Just please forgive me. There's nothing to forgive, Rosalina. What happened to you is scary. How many days are there in a year? 365? Yeah. And you had the same vision for 12 years. That's what, like, every night for 4,000 days? It's a lot to take in, especially for a little girl. But you should be mad at me. When we kissed, I should have told you. It's not your fault. What happened with Loth in Belfast makes sense. A part of you wanted him after all these years. It feels like you guys know each other. Me, on the other hand, I never expected to meet a girl like you, Rosalina. I had dreams of the most beautiful girl with long brown hair and dark brown eyes and the most breathtaking smile, but I didn't expect to find her. And I didn't expect to fall in love with her either. And yet, here you are, right in front of me. Wait, you dreamt about me too? Yeah. That's how I recognize you in that field. This is, this is getting just weirder and weirder. How long have you had that dream for? A couple of years, not like you. But how, it, it just feels like this is all sort of random luck. Have those visions just brought all of us together? I, I just, it just feels like some kind of destiny. I'll be honest. I don't think we can answer that right now. We just have to trust that all this happened for a reason. I believe that you get to be with one person throughout your life and it should be for love. I dreamt of the most beautiful girl and found her. I'd do anything to stay with you, Rosalina, but I think that your feelings for both myself and Loth are both quite strong. I don't want to figure this out. All I know is I want to be here with you, right here, right now. Right now? Yes.
Have we seen one? It's been a long time. I like it here. It's peaceful. <laughs> well, from your long, detailed speech, of course you do. When do you have to be in Belfast for? No time was given. What do you mean, no time was given? Well, all I have is a city, a name, and a location. Well, let's hear it. Uh, Belfast, Loth, and a pool. Well, get ready to swim. I will. <laughs> um, which way? Hmm. That way. I'm following you. got your message. Everything okay? Yeah. Did you make up your mind? I think I'm going to start focusing on training for you. What? Well, I think I've been so focused on love and I want it. I do. But now... You can't make up your mind. It's not fair to either of you or Loth. So, I am going to start focusing on training for you. A year? Well... It wouldn't be fair whilst my heart is still beating for Loth and if my heart is still beating for you. I mean, I need to see who will come back to me, so I will just go and wait. Is this a test? No, of course not. I just, I just need time because I may change, you may change, Loth may change, but I will see who I want to come back to the most through time. Have you told Loth? I have. And, like you, he doesn't want to let me go, but only time will tell. I know you, Rosalina, and I understand. Do what you have to do, and I will wait for you. You have been the most faithful and loving to me. Goodbye, Peter. Goodbye, Rosalina. I will respect her choice. I want her to be with someone who truly loves her, even if that means I lose her. I want to help her. I'm glad she's following her dreams. Whether we are friends or lovers, I want to teach her to sail. And I want to swim by her side. I still want to be in her life no matter what. But I will wait for her. I will wait for her because she is Rosalina. It was the right decision. For once in my life, I knew it was the most necessary, selfless act. I did not let them go. I just knew that only time would tell if it was Loth or Peter. How could I choose? The love I felt for them was deep, but in different ways. With Loth, it was constant desire through fun and curiosity. And with Peter, it was constant desire through empathy and respect. Only time will tell. Thank you.